If you unhide the net.mov layer and take a look, you'll see that we need to reposition it over the hoop and extend its visibility. Let's start by moving to the point in time where the layer is visible. Select it and reposition it so that it aligns with the hoop. To do that, you can use the transform widget, more specifically the arrow pointing upward. Autograph lets you move a layer between two pixels. This will apply a filter to the image, which can sometimes affect its sharpness, especially for a detailed logo. If the other scale and rotation parameters are set to zero, removing the decimal point will improve sharpness through what's known as pixel-perfect placement. There's an option to automatically remove the decimal points at the top of the viewer. When moving the layer, the decimal point will always be set to zero. For fine details like those in the net, this increased control over sharpness can make a big difference, especially when working with high contrast images. Keep in mind that all the other transform parameters should be at their default values, including rotation, skew, anchor point, and scale. In this video, we went over how to avoid subpixel filtering on a layer and how to enable the pixel perfect option.